Okay, so I did a thing. Um, for the last few months, I've developed an accidental obsession with watching reptile videos. Um, I've always kind of had a thing for snakes in the back of my mind. Um, kind of stemming from having dreams about them where they exist and they may even be venomous and life-threatening to me, but, like, they give off, um, a non-threatening vibe. Uh, I don't know, but that's been a thing for my whole life, and, um, recently I started doing some research on what the best starter snake might be, um, because I've never had one before, and so I got myself a baby corn snake. She is, um, like 18 inches long or something right now, and, um, she is of the sun-kissed morph, um, and if, if this means anything to those of you watching, she is Het Lava and Het Cinder, um, which I think means that those are, um, qualities that she could pass on, uh, if she were to be bred, and I don't think I'm going to. She's years away from that being possible anyway, but I think she's just gonna be my pet, um, for a while, a long time, hopefully. Um, I named her Nessie. She earned that name, um, the first or second night that we had her. I think it was the first night. But she was just poking her head up out of the soil and watching us. And she had that, that like, um, that like S-shaped, S um, curious posture as she poked out of the soil, kind of like you'd see the Loch Ness Monster in various photos poking out of the, out of the, uh, water. Yeah, she's super sweet and adorable. Um, she's settling in very nicely, I think. She's great at taking food. She, her breeder, um, we got her from South Mountain Reptiles, and, uh, Don Soderberg, or Soderberg, um, really, really nice guy, really knowledgeable on what he does, um, really warm dude, um, and he said that she, she'd never refused food, and here she is, this is the second time I fed her, um, <laughs> she just doesn't care. It is delicious. I will eat it. Thank you very much. I am still scared of you, but if you're giving me food, I will take it. Thanks. And here we have a little drawing that I did inspired by her. Um, this is an Inktober prompt again. Uh, the word was space... spaceship? Rocket ship? Um, I feel like... I feel like this prompt has been done a few times by the Inktober community. Um, and I'm all, always happy to draw something space-related. Um, stars and moons and stuff. Of course, uh, what better way to <laughs> draw a snake but on a rocket ship, because that's what they do on a regular basis.
before I started painting this, um, I messed up on the line drawing of uh, the snake at the top and uh, had to go over her entire body with acrylic paint, white acrylic paint, and uh, it actually made a really cool texture for uh, snake skin. Um, there's some parts I wasn't sure, like, I don't know, I guess the brush stroke or something um, made like weird, uh, I don't even know, like indentations or something. Um, you can kind of see them. Uh, but doing layers of watercolor on top of it just made this cool texture. Um, so the more, the more you draw, the more you learn, I suppose. Um, I could still do like layers of, of paint to add depth to it. Um, but yeah, it just made this weird, like, almost scaly sort of um, texture on her. So that was really cool. I was really uh, happy to discover that. And we'll probably use that in future um, artworks. This is a little video I took of the second time I ever held her. Um, the first time I was nervous and she was terrified and um, I've held her about five times now and each time gets a little easier. Uh, I've only held like ball pythons and stuff before. Um, you know, ones that are older and really chill so a baby corn snake who is by nature a little more wiggly uh, curious to explore your hands and stuff um, was an experience but we're getting used to each other and um, there are even a couple times during this video where she just kind of she just kind of slows down and chills um, yeah we're we're doing more of that recently. Um, she's actually, she looks like she's going into her first shed soon. Um, her little eyes are getting a little cloudy. Her colors are becoming a little more dull. Um, yeah, I think she's about to give me her first shed, which is going to be really exciting. Um, on top of it just being exciting in general, uh, I have hermit crabs that I've shown in other videos on here. <clears throat> and uh, they really like snakeskin. It has some sort of nutritional value to it. Uh, they, en they really enjoy munching on, uh, as well as our isopods. They will go to town on some snakeskin. Um, so we've got this little, uh, little ecosystem going on in our house. <laughs> And, um, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at that face. She is so stinking cute. She's really head shy, and, um, well, it's hard to see over my hands sometimes, so I accidentally boop her, and, uh, she doesn't like that. She also, like, when, uh, when I don't let her go in certain directions, she'll, like, huff at me. Um, I don't know if that's something to do with her, uh, being almost ready to shed, um, or if it's just her being like, hey, I want to go in that direction and you're not letting me. And 
I'm gonna huff at you. I think it might be. It might be that. <laughs> but it's cute. She she doesn't she hasn't bitten yet. Um, I don't think she will. I've given her plenty of accidental reasons to try, and she hasn't. I think she's just a sweet, mild-mannered little girl. And I'm so excited to see how she grows and how her personality comes out as she gets older. So that's about it right now. Um, I'm working on some more artwork and um, hanging out, working and stuff, and um, living my life, playing with my snake. Uh, and anyway, hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more. There will be more. I promise.